Hey guys, Scooter82 here. Uh, I want to do a, my first YouTube video uh, using the GoPro Hero HD. It's just the original uh, Hero series of the cameras. Um, I want to do a video on the Knight Rifles Ultimate Range Rod. That's for loading muzzle loaders, cleaning muzzle loaders while you're at the range. Um, I guess I'd want to start off by saying it, that these come in these clear plastic tubes that are reusable. And what I have actually done, it, each cap on the ends comes off. I actually just right now had to re-glue this one end cap with super glue because um, it had came loose. But I do that just so the rod doesn't pop out of either end. You still got to be careful with this end because it can pop out pretty easily and uh, you know I, I store my my bullet jag in the tube with the range rod and um, you know if those pop off and you can lose that pretty easily because I did lose the original one that came with the rod from night rifles um, when I was out at the shooting range one of the caps popped off and I didn't catch it until the next day and by then somebody had already picked it up. Um, the rod itself does come with a nice anodized handle it's printed night born to hunt right on the handle. It's got some nice grip and it's fairly good and size so you got something really firm to hang on to. Um, it does spin pretty freely but not sloppy. It's a real real tight spin on this. Um, and the reason that it that it's set up to do that is so you can you don't have to twist your arm as you're loading the bullet. This will actually spin and guide your bullet right down the rifling of the barrel. Um, it does have an adjustable bullet seating indicator. So when you um, when you set your first charge and then get your bullet set in there you slide this muzzle guard up here and then just turn this tight and this won't move and this locks in pretty good I can actually show that to you um, it does have this rubber cap on the end to protect the threads and the, the muzzle guard itself does a really good job of uh, protecting the finish on your gun and to make sure that the shaft is centered when it's pushing the load down. You can pull this apart, you can, I mean, you can kind of see how this thing's put together. You know, it obviously pinches the shaft as you tighten it up. It's a pretty well made design and it's pretty heavy duty. I mean this thing's not going to slip on you. The, the shaft is uh, stainless steel. I shall pop this back off. The threads are eight and thirty seconds which is pretty standard um, for a, your loading jag. Overall length is thirty six and a half inches. Um, like I stated before it does come with a with a brass jag for start for loading bullets and it also seconds as a, a barrel cleaning jag. Um, but like I said I did lose that and I did replace that with a spin jag which I will be doing another video on at a later date uh, these are uh, caliber specific uh, they come in 45, 50, and 52 calibers so when you order these you gotta make sure you're getting one specifically for your caliber uh, the price from Night Rifles was $32 plus shipping. Um, I think it was 
around 45 give or take to my door um, this this thing is just incredible it makes life so much easier when you're at the range um, and I mean did kind of kind of hard to justify spending that much on a on a range rod but once you have this thing in your hands you can see why they they get what they do out of it um, the only other thing I do when I'm storing this back in the tube is I'll set my uh, depth indicator up towards the top of the shaft because um, I do keep my jag in the tube with the rod so this will actually keep the jag at the top of the tube so when you first open this thing you can pull that jag out and not lose it like I did with the first one so uh, that pretty much wraps that up and I hope uh, hope this review helps somebody out I couldn't find any reviews um, on YouTube or hardly anywhere as far as that goes on this ultimate range rod and that's why I decided to make a video on this I'm gonna be doing videos on um, you know reviewing items that I can't find reviews on myself so that's another reason the the spin jag is gonna be next because I couldn't find a YouTube video review on that so uh, thanks for watching have a good day